the time has come for you to lip sync for your life. That's really the only thing I can ever think of when I say that phrase. I really shouldn't have started like that. <laughs> but in all seriousness, it is finally time to update y'all on my TBR unhaul. It has been a long four months. I kind of can't believe it's already been four months, um, but it's here. And shockingly, I didn't do quite as well as I expected to. So a quick refresher for anyone who hasn't watched that video in four months. Uh, <laughs> there were 13 books that I had to read or unhaul by the end of that video. Words of Radiance was also in the mix as like a 14th book, but I gave myself the rule that I didn't have to read books that were over a thousand pages just because I, uh, I want to deal with those at a different date. Those are massive undertakings. So that was the one stipulation I put on there. So I had 13 books that I had to read or unhaul. And those books are kind of currently scattered all over the place. So rather than grabbing them, I'm going to put pictures up on the screen and we're just going to do it that way because that's a little bit easier. So I am going to break them down into three different categories, um, but I am going to list them off first and they'll pop up on the screen as I say them. The magic of editing. Okay, so these are the 13 books that I had to read or unhaul at the end of that video. We had Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Mass, The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien, The Feminine Mystique by Betty Friedan, The Furies of Calderon by Jim Butcher, which is the first book in the Codex Alera series, This Is What Happy Looks Like by Jennifer E. Smith, 1Q84 by Haruki Murakami, which I said that I would read the first book of because it is over a thousand pages, um, Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor, Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes, A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab, Elantris and the Emperor's Soul by Brandon Sanderson, Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare and some other people, and Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So I mentioned that these books fell under three different categories and I listed them and put them on the screen in those categories. So the top row, the first five books, those are the books that I actively chose not to read. I did pick up Throne of Glass and I even started filming an As I Read video with it, but I got five chapters in and I despised Selena so much. And I know based on reviews that it doesn't get better throughout the book and you kind of either love or hate Selena. And I really just didn't want to put myself through the book when I already knew it was possible I wouldn't like it. I was hating the main character and I just didn't really have much of a desire to read it anymore, so I didn't read it. I also realized that I didn't really have any more interest in reading the Codex Alera series. It was one that I picked up because Regan from Peru's Project really loved it, and I never really had much interest in the premise itself. I just knew that it was supposed to be a really good fantasy series, and I just don't really have any interest in it anymore. The Feminine Mystique, I still have it on audiobook, but it's also not a priority for me. Also, I got that copy for like $2, so really not concerned about getting rid of that. And the other two are just books that I don't think I want to read anymore. And my copy of The Hobbit is going to my friend who I mentioned always looks at it on my shelf and wants to steal it from me. So I'm just going to give it to him because he loves Tolkien and I know that he'll appreciate that copy. So obviously I'm unhauling those five books. I'm also unhauling any books that are in those series. So the entire Codex Alera series and all of the books that I have of the Throne of Glass series. I am going to be keeping book four because I found a signed copy at Target and I want to hang on to that just because I want to possibly, don't get too excited, do some sort of giveaway at some point and I really don't want to just like hand off a signed copy to a like random used bookstore and be like, here, have it when someone could just randomly buy it who doesn't care. I'd rather give it away to someone who might be actually like super excited to have that. So moving on to the second row of books, these are the books that I read. Yes, I only read four of them. And to be perfectly honest, one of them is one that I'm not yet finished with. Um, that is Falling Kingdoms. I am almost done with it. I am planning on finishing it today. It is the last day of the month. I read the majority of it yesterday, so I just have to finish it today. No big deal. It's gonna happen. I'll let you know in just a second if that happened. If it didn't, I'm just gonna get rid of the series because as of right now, it's like a three-star read for me, so I'm kind of borderline whether or not I actually want to continue the series after this book, so I don't know. It's fine. Um, I'll probably insert some clip after this talking about it a little bit. Future Kristen later in the day coming at you right after finishing Falling Kingdoms. And it was fine. I think I'm gonna stick with what I said earlier. I think it's gonna be a three out of five for me. 
Um, I am a little bit more optimistic about the potential of finishing the series than I was, I think, when I filmed that earlier, but it definitely had a lot of problems. Uh, there were definitely a lot of things that I didn't like about it, even though I thought it was okay. I did film an As I Read style video as I read Fallen Kingdoms, so that'll be up maybe in a few days to a week, sometime around there. So definitely uh, keep your eyes peeled for that if you want to see more on my thoughts, and once that goes live, I will link that up in the cards. I also read A Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab. This is the second book in the Shades of Magic trilogy, and I gave this one 3 out of 5. I originally gave it a really low 4 out of 5. I dropped it down. It's kind of like a 3 or 3.5 out of 5. It's fine. I have pretty mediocre feelings on this series overall, and I did a full review of the series, which will be linked up in the cards. And then I also read Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This I gave 4 out of 5. I'm really not sure where it falls on my, like, out of 10 scale that I like to do. Um, originally I thought it was 9 out of 10, but I think that it's more of like an 8 out of 10, so like right at the bottom of the 4 out of 5 level. I think that this is kind of making me rethink my rating scale because I kind of want this to be like entry level 4 star rating if that makes sense. Like I feel like if I don't enjoy a book as much as I enjoyed this one, then it shouldn't be given a 4 out of 5. And I don't know if that makes that much sense. I don't know why I'm questioning my entire rating system because of this book, but that's kind of how I felt about this. So brief pause before I talk about the last book that I read because I kind of want to also reflect on whether or not I would have enjoyed the book more when I bought it and originally wanted to read it versus now. And I think that for all three of the books that I've talked about already that I read, I think I really would have enjoyed them all more when I first bought them. I think that my tastes have changed a little bit and I think that what I look for in a book has changed a little bit and I think I'm a little bit more critical. And I think all three of those are ones that if I'd read them when I got them, I would have probably really enjoyed them. I think the V.E. Schwab book might have been still kind of mediocre for me, but I probably still would have enjoyed it more than I did reading it in 2018. The same cannot be said for the best book that I read because of the series, which is 1Q84. I'm so glad that I did not read this right when I got it because I got it thinking that it was going to be this like really cool dystopian novel and I don't know if I would necessarily classify this as dystopian. It's got like the textbook definition of dystopia, but it also doesn't feel like a typical dystopian does. I don't know how to explain that any better, but like I said, I love this. I'm so glad that I waited three years after buying it to actually read it. Um, I probably should have waited three years to buy it, but I gave this nine out of 10. It was so close to getting a full five out of five, like nine and a half out of 10, but I thoroughly enjoyed my experience reading this. I listened to the audiobook. Um, I just, it's such a hard book to explain, but I fell in love. Also, I was only supposed to read the first book, which is like the first 400 pages, but I read the whole thing. Um, I just really, really enjoyed reading this, and I think that I definitely would have, like, gotten bored of it or just not wanted to finish it when I first bought it, if I'd read it then. So I'm very glad that I read it when I did. This is definitely a book I read at the right time. Definitely one of my new favorite standalone novels. Um, I now want to read like everything that Murakami has ever written because it's so fascinating. Um, yeah, I just, I loved this. This was fantastic. So those are the four books that I read, which means that the remaining four books are the ones that I did not read. Um, these are the books that I'm going to be saving because, if you recall, uh, this took place over four months, which means I get a save per month, and that means I have four saves, so I'm using my four saves on those four books. Honestly, these are all books that are ones that I know I'm going to love when I read them, and I want to be in the right mood to read them, and I just have not been in a fantasy mood lately. I don't know why. I don't know what it is but I haven't been in the mood to read them, and I don't want to force myself to read them when I'm not in the mood for them. So I didn't read them, and I'm not going to be doing what um, Lala did and like saying I have to read them like in the next section to keep them. They're saved. I'm keeping them. 
that's the way I'm doing this. So that's my update on these past four months. It was probably a little bit too lengthy, but oh well, that's what happened. Um, moving on to the reactions, which are a lot shorter than last time. Okay, y'all, so it is time to react to my book hauls from May through August of 2015 and 2016, and I'm oddly excited about this. Like, I think it's because I love, like, this type of video, like, the react to your book haul type of video. So, like, I'm oddly excited about it, even though I'm the one who's gonna have to read however many books pop up in this, but, like, I'm excited. Let's jump into it. So like I said in the last video, unlike the last video, I am only going to be watching two book hauls today because for both 2015 and 2016, and I think even for this past year, I did a summer book haul. So I did a book haul for the months of May through August for both of those years. Hopefully this reaction will be a lot shorter. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. So we're gonna start with my summer book haul from 2015. Now I'm looking at this thumbnail and it looks like I'm holding a lot of books, but I could have sworn I was on some sort of book buying ban over that summer. So like, how many times did I break that? I don't know, but we're gonna find out. Deep breath, let's start the video. As some of you may know, I have been on a book buying ban okay, all summer. So I'm saying that I've been on a book buying ban August, all summer. So why are there so many books in the thumbnail? It is almost over. <sighs> Subscription boxes, or the fact that I allowed myself to buy new releases, or just oh, simply breaking my book oh. buying ban. So apparently I allow myself to buy new releases, and I had a book box. Oh, I probably got Owl Crate a couple times that summer and then I broke the ban a couple times. So hopefully if I broke a book buying ban, that means that I was really, really excited about those books and I really wanted to read them, which would suggest that I've already read them. I'm sorry if it's being really loud. My windows like shake when there's wind. It's really weird. Um, so ignore the windiness. Hopefully that's not too obnoxious. Let's see what the first one is. So the first book that I got over the summer was Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. I unhauled that. I got it in an owl crate box and I was really excited about the concept of the box. It was the parallel universes box, I think. And I was excited about the premise, but like, not super excited. I don't know. Like I, I wasn't ever super intrigued by that book and I kind of knew I wasn't going to read it when I got it in the box. So I unhauled it. I don't remember when I unhauled it, but I unhauled it. The next book that I got was The Fade Out Volume Ooh, 1 Fade Out. by Ed Brubaker um, and Sean Phillips. This is a comic that I actually broke my book buying ban to purchase because of that cover. Look at how beautiful that cover is. It is stunning. The comic, on the other hand, is very mediocre. I read it. I didn't like it very much. I didn't get rid of it. I think it's like right back there somewhere. Um, but I was really underwhelmed. It was not impressive. So I have not continued the series and I don't plan on continuing the series. The only reason I still have that comic is because the cover's really pretty. So, um, that is a mark on the red column, but unfortunately it's not one that I enjoyed very much. So the next book that I got this summer was a June new release, and that is The Leveler <laughs> by Julia Durango, which is the first book from The Leveler. The Leveler series. by Julia Durango. <laughs> I forgot about that book. Okay. So for those of you who don't know, uh, this was, as I said, a new release of June 2015, and it was, like, marketed like Ready Player One, and it is utter garbage. I'm so sorry. It's really bad. Um, I really don't like just, like, dumping on books, but it was so bad. Um, I was, I think I gave it two stars. I should probably drop it to one. It was just... There was almost no plot. The main character was so boring. Um, there was insta-love that was just so dumb. It just... <laughs> and again, another mark in the red column, but oh boy did I dislike it. The next book that I got was one of my most anticipated releases of the year. Okay, pause. 
I say it's one of my most anticipated releases of the year. So I better have read it. And that is Armada by Ernest Klein. <laughs> what is it with this book haul and all of the mediocre books? That's another one that I've read. And it was a three-star read, I think. It was, it was all right. It wasn't terrible, but like, I really hope I start hauling some books that I actually like in this haul because this is gonna be a really depressing book haul if it's all books that either I haven't read or disliked. Next up is the book that I got in my July Owl Crate box, and that is The Night mm. We Said Yes by Lauren Gabaldi. The Night We Said Yes. Okay, another one that I've read, so yay. Um, so far, <laughs> this is the best book in the book haul. I think at this point it's sitting at three out of five on my Goodreads. Um, I liked it, but it was a fairly like average read. It was fine. So, uh, so far so good. I've not got anything on my TBR yet. Um, it's all books that I've read and one that I've unhauled. So this is where we start to get in a little bit of trouble because this is when I started to break my book buying ban. Okay, started I breaking my ban. I went on book outlet for some unknown reason and I ended up buying three books on there. Pause. Okay, I went on book outlet for some unknown reason. Great. That always turns out really well. Wonderful. This is, this is gonna be great. Note that last one of these videos, I had like so many giant book outlet boxes that I unboxed in 2015 and then read like one of the books that I bought on book outlet, maybe two. Book outlet orders do not go well for me, so let's just see how this goes. The first one that I bought on Book Outlet was Afterworlds by Scott Afterworlds Westerfeld. Afterworlds by Scott Westerfeld. In like 2014, I think, was when a lot of booktubers got arcs of it at BEA, and I was like really, really excited about it then, and when I found it on Book Outlet for really cheap, I was also really excited because the premise really intrigued me, it sounded super cool. I recently unhauled this book. I held on to it for a really long time hoping that I was actually going to read it, but I've realized that I really don't have any interest in reading it. I've had it for almost three years at this point and never considered picking it up. The second book that I got in that purchase was We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. Also, just as a side note, this is the one that I we got. We Were Liars by E. Lockhart. This haul the back and it's ripped is the actual book. terrible. I mean, like, I'm sorry if there are books in this haul that I'm, I'm watching that you like, but personally, I have either disliked or unhauled every single book that I've hauled so far in this video. Um, and We Were Liars is not an exception. In fact, I believe that I both disliked it and unhauled it. Also, I did the same thing for um, whatever that book was, the Julia Durango book, the one that I said was actual garbage. Um, so basically, I've unhauled most of these books because, oh, I unhauled Armada too. Do I own any of these books except for the fade out still? Like I said, I've read We Were Liars. It was all right. I think I lowered it to two stars out of five. Um, it wasn't terrible, but it was really predictable. And it is like, I just, I saw the twist coming from a mile away. And it's why I hate reading that there's going to be a plot twist in a book because this book, was so easy to predict and it's just it just wasn't very good and i really hope this haul gets better because so far all of these books i've either disliked or unhauled or both and the last book that i got in that book outlet purchase was lexicon by max berry you've got to be kidding me okay i read this during the booktubeathon i said that in the video and it's another one that was just so not impressive. Like this one, I think was more like, it just wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I therefore didn't like it. But oh, obviously I've read Lexicon, as you can tell from what I'm saying. And I did not like it very much. I think it's still three stars out of five on my Goodreads. Like it wasn't terrible and I don't think I like hated it in the moment and I still don't hate it. I just, 
I remember like very little from that book because I just didn't care. So, so far at least I don't have any books on my TBR, but that's because I've read and or unhauled all of them because they were not good. <laughs> And since I had already broken my book buying ban, I just decided that I was going to go crazy and continue buying books even though I was on a ban. Great. And that is how I got I'll Give You the Sun oh, by Jandy Nelson. Thank goodness I'll Give You the Sun by Jandy Nelson is a fantastic book. I read it before I think I filmed this haul and it is fantastic. Five out of five stars possibly the only good book in this haul. We'll see. But um, I'll give you the sun. Solid. Another book I've read. Not one I've unhauled. <laughs> so, yay. So the next book that I got, once again breaking my book buying ban, was Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. <laughs> and we are right back on the terrible train with Me and Earl and the Dying Girl. Oh. This is another one that I read and unhauled. Um, it was not very good. Um, I remember it being like either overtly or like subtly sexist. I don't remember what it was. I think it was the narrator. The narrator was like gross. I don't know. Maybe I'm exaggerating, but this is just like my own memory of reading this book. I didn't like the narrator. I thought he was funny, but like the way that he talked about women kind of grossed me out and the book was just like not interesting to me. Um, so yeah, I read that and promptly unhauled it. In fact, I might have read it before I filmed this haul. Either way, it's gone. I'm realizing as I'm watching this that I've lowered many of these ratings since reading these books because I've realized like how much I tend to overrate books when I first read them. The next book came in my August Owl Crate box, which I just did an August unboxing for a few days ago, and that book is Trouble is a Friend of Mine by Stephanie Tromley. Ooh, okay. Trouble is a Friend of Mine by Stephanie Tromley. I unhauled this one. I only read like one of the books that I ever got <laughs> in an Owl Crate unboxing. Um, I thought it sounded kind of cool. It had a lot of references that I really liked. Like it was compared to Buffy and I think The Breakfast Club and maybe also Sherlock. Like there were a lot of interesting sounding references, but I think I saw a lot of mediocre reviews and people were saying it was like really cheesy and I just wasn't really interested in reading it. So I unhauled it. This is also a reason that I don't get Owl Crate or any other kind of subscription boxes because I think that I tend to be more picky than I realize and I want to pick out my own things and not have other people try to tell me what I should read or like pay for things where I don't know what I'm getting because I'm always disappointed in some form or fashion. So like I just shouldn't get subscription boxes. <laughs> Stop. Stop making noise. I hate you. And finally, the last book in this haul, one of my most anticipated releases of the year, okay. which just came out two days ago, Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray. Oh, thank goodness. Lair of Dreams by Libba Bray is a beautiful book. It's somewhere above my head up here. Somewhere. I don't know. Lair of Dreams is amazing. Libba Bray is amazing. I've either read or unhauled every single book from this haul. What is happening? So far, I have zero books on my summer TBR. What is this? <laughs> I like part of me is really excited, but part of me is also like, is this whole video a bust? Because there's there's no books. I've read them all or unhauled all of them. I was not expecting this, you guys. I'm sorry. This is probably super boring because I haven't like added any books to my TV. There are no books that I have to read yet. Okay, so from my 2015 summer book haul, uh, nothing. Not a zero zip zilch. Um, with my luck, that means that I haven't read any of the books in my 2016 summer book haul. But, uh, let's move on to it and see if that is in fact the case. And there are a lot of books on this haul, so I'm not going Great. to waste much time. Let's there are a lot of books in this haul. Run through the books that I, got I I'm kind of worried at the fact that I didn't even say a number because apparently there were so many that I didn't want to count them. Great. So the first books that I bought this summer I legitimately forgot had not been in a book haul yet 
and I almost forgot to include them, then? and that is the box set oh, of the Scott okay. Pilgrim uh, graphic Scott novel Scott Pilgrim series. graphic novel series. Uh, they're right by me, right there. And I've read all of them. Uh, I have, I think I read, like, I think I'd actually read all of them by the time that I filmed this video. So, yeah, I bought them as a graduation present to myself. Um, they're okay. I like them. They're like a high 3 out of 5, like 3.5. Like, they're all in that kind of range. I like them, um, but they're not, like, my favorite thing in the world. I think I actually might have liked the movie better, but I did also see the movie in high school, which was long before I read them, so... The next three books that I bought this summer are a trilogy, so I'll just show them together, and that is the Reckoners Ooh, trilogy. The Reckoners by trilogy Sanderson. by Brandon Sanderson, uh, which I'm pretty sure I had read before even filming the book haul. So again, three more books that I've read. This is going amazingly. Um, so the Reckoners trilogy is probably my least favorite work by Brandon Sanderson. Um, some of the books in the trilogy are like still some of his better books. Like I think I gave the first two 9 out of 10. The third one was like an 8.5 out of 10. It was good but not quite as good as all of his other books, but still Brandon Sanderson's books are great. I would say that the Reckoners trilogy is my least favorite of the like series or even standalones that I've read, but still good. Love Brandon. And that's also three more books that I've read and still none that I haven't read. The next book that I bought this summer was the graphic novel Ooh, version. the graphic of novel the version of, Death, of the, the first, first book in the Pendragon, Pendragon series. I have read that, obviously. I read Pendragon, but I also read the graphic novel. So another book on the red list. The next book that I got this summer was Don't Look Back by Jennifer L. <laughs> Don't Armentrout. Look Back by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This haul is so much better than the last one. I read this before buying it. I loved it so much that I had to have my own copy. I got it from the library. And like I said, I've read it. So still no books on my TBR. The next book that I bought was The First 15 Lives of Harry Ooh. August by Claire North. We have finally found a book that I haven't read. <laughs> the First 15 Lives of Harry August. That is somewhere on this bookshelf over here. Oh, here it is. Uh, uh, don't even have to get up. The First 15 Lives of Harry August. This is one that, like I said, I have not read. Um, Regan from Peru's Project loves this book, or at least as far as I know, she still loves this book. She talked about it a ton. Um, it deals with a guy who, like, keeps living multiple lives. Like, he dies and then he wakes up in a new life. Not quite sure how that works, but, like, something happens in, like, his... 15th life possibly and he's like trying to solve something that happens. I don't know. I just remember this sounded cool and I got it because Reagan kept saying good things about it. So I'm actually surprised that I've had this for two years honestly. Like I'm still like really intrigued by this book and I've been meaning to pick it up for a really long time and I'm still excited about it. So I'm not bothered by the fact that this is on my TBR at all. That said, I do have kind of an idea for a theme for my TBR over the summer, and that doesn't necessarily fit into my theme, but like, I can break the theme for the TBR shelf on haul, but I was hoping that some books would fit into the theme, but obviously I can't do much about that. Let's continue on in the video. The next book that I bought was Shades Ooh. of Earth by Beth Revis. Shades of Earth by Beth Revis. Um, I am not going to waste time on this. I had read it long before I bought this. This was a duplicate copy. I had the paperback. I wanted the hardcover. The next book is actually one that was sent to me, and that is Finnick by J.R. Ramsey. And now we're guilt tripping me. Okay, so this is a book that I, like I said in the video, was sent for review. And I think they emailed me and they asked if I wanted to review it and it sounded interesting and so I said yes. This was also like the second book I'd ever been asked to review and so like I was still in that like I want to get all the art copies and review them phase of my book tubing and at this point I don't think I'm even accepting books for review. I just I I'm reading so little at this point in my life that I don't have time for anything other than what I'm actually really excited about. Anyway, I accepted this for review. I was excited about it. And 
I just never got to it and I still feel really bad about that. Like every single booktuber says if you start booktubing don't just accept every review copy that someone offers you and don't accept every review copy that someone offers you. I think I still have the book so I guess technically it's not, I, I unhauled it, I put it in an unhaul, but I still have the book because I wanted to maybe at some point do a giveaway and give it to someone else who might read and review it versus just trying to give it to a used bookstore. So it's, it's over there in a stack, I'm sure, but I'm counting it as unhauled because I do not plan on reading it anymore and I am just waiting to give it to someone who might read it and hopefully review it online so that hopefully it doesn't go to complete waste. And obviously it's not going to go to complete waste regardless, like if someone buys it and reads it and enjoys it, like that's obviously not going to complete waste, but like my hope is that it goes to someone who will review it online so that the purpose of me receiving the book is fulfilled in some form or fashion, if that makes sense. So this is the part of the trip where my family and I took a trip to a pretty big city and they had a bunch of half price books there. Great. So half price books my is my favorite books. place, but it also sometimes is where I buy books that I never read. So let's hope this goes well. And the first five of those books are all within the same series and those are books two Ooh, Charlie, Bone. Oh, Charlie Bone. Um, so Charlie Bone is a series, I probably say this in like two seconds in the video, but Charlie Bone is a series that I read when I was younger, like 10 or so, 10, 11. Um, I really liked it. I was collecting the copies again. I've read all of those books. So another five on the red list. And then while we were out of town, I also ended up getting several comics and manga. Ooh, several comics and manga. That's exciting because if I got some manga, that would fit into my uh, reading like theme that I want to do for the summer. So I wouldn't be mad if there were some manga that I haven't read yet. Although I'm not sure what that would be, but it would be cool nonetheless. Like that would, that would work. That would be fine. The first of which is Fables Volume Ooh, 1 Fables by Bill volume Willingham one. and several other people. I did a video recently where I read the first chapter of books that I was considering unhauling and uh, that was one of the books that I read the first chapter of and I ended up skimming most of the first chapter because I just was not very intrigued by it. And uh, so I recently unhauled that one. It hasn't been an unhaul video yet, but I did a top, not a top of my TBR, a uh, first chapter tag. Um, I'll put it up in the cards. Also at Half Price Books, I found the manga adaptation. Uh, the of manga Alpha adaptation Princess of Alexander the Clare, third, third book in the Infernal in the Devices Infernal series. Devices I had already read this by the time I bought this. So that is another in the red column. We're doing pretty good so far. Well, we're doing well. Grammatical error. So then, we went into Barnes and Noble and typically in Barnes and Noble I can control myself because things are a lot more expensive in the Barnes and Noble yeah, store. I try not to buy books at Barnes and Noble just because it's so Amazon. expensive. So usually I can stop myself from buying stuff. And then I was perusing the shelves and I discovered that they had a sale going on where if you buy two manga you could get a third free. So after I Ooh. found the three manga volumes I still see that, that in Barnes Noble for, sometimes. I went on Amazon. Buy two get the third free. It's a it's a good deal. Look for that, that in the manga section. The two get one free at Barnes and Noble was actually cheaper than buying the three of them on Amazon. So I went ahead and got them. So the first of those that I got was Monster Volume 1. Monster Volume 1. Um I have read that. I don't know why it took me so long to figure that out. I've read that. Um, I liked it. It was my, so it's a bind up of the first two volumes of the monster manga series and probably my favorite of the volumes. Uh, the third one was also pretty good, I think, or the fourth one. Anyway, um, I still haven't finished that series. I'm not sure if I am planning on any more, but I still have it. It's just out of frame next to my battle royale mangas, but I liked it. I still have it. I read it good times. That said, it was recommended for people who like Death Note and Death Note is like way better. So if you're like hearing that it's kind of like Death Note, but you don't know if you want to check out that or Death Note, Death Note first. And I was also super excited to find the first volume of the Sword Art Online oh, series. I've had that for two years. 
the first volume of Sword Art Online, the manga. I've had that for two years. How? <laughs> okay, I still haven't read that. Like I said, I'm fine with manga showing up and I've been meaning to read this one forever. Although I want to read the light novel first, which I also have. They're both behind my head right there. Um, so maybe, maybe I'll read both. I mean, there's barely anything on my TBR yet, so I might as well. So here they are. Um, I got the light novel, I think, maybe about a year ago, um, so I haven't had it for quite as long. But this is the first volume of the manga. Um, uh, it's the first, like, arc. There are several arcs to the story. I still don't fully know the order. I just know it's this and then Fairy Dance, I think, which I have those two volumes of Sword Art Online are Fairy Dance arcs, or volumes one and two, which I think are the only ones. Anyway... Um, this is the first arc, uh, the first book in the series. This is where everything started. This is what both the anime and the manga are based on. And then this is the manga adaptation of, um, I think just this first book. So I don't know how to pronounce this. Aincrad? Aincrad? Not sure. But honestly, I might just add both of these to my TBR because I wanted to read the light novel first and, um, I mean, this is a fairly sizable manga, but it's also, like, a manga. So yeah, I think tentatively, I'm gonna put both of these on my TBR. Obviously, I don't have to unhaul this if I don't read it, but I, I want to read it before I read this, so cool. And then the one that I ended up getting free, which is another series that I've been wanting to start, is the bind-up of the first three volumes of Full Metal I've had Alchemist. that for two years, too? Okay, um, that's fine. That's probably also right behind my head. The first volume bind up of Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, um, I also read the first chapter of that for that same potential unhaul, like try a chapter tag video, and it was one of the only things that I saved because I was actually intrigued by that first chapter. So, yeah, I haven't read it. It's still unread. It's probably right behind my head, it's like right there. So, yeah, that's on my TBR. That's fine. So far my TBR is going great. <laughs> so here it is. It is volume one through three. It's a bind up of the first three. Um, it is big for a manga again, but it's also not a long read. So cool. I'm I'm fine with this. So then I went into yet another half price books and I another found half -price even books. more books. Okay. And this is going to round out the book Okay, so haul. this is the last section of the haul, but it's also half price books, so Let's see. The first book that I found there was Peril at oh, Int House by Peril Agatha Christie. House. I had okay. already planned on reading this during the Booktubeathon. I planned on reading it during the Booktubeathon, and I did read it during the Booktubeathon. So check in the red column. It's over there somewhere. It's one of my favorite of the Poirot novels. And the next book that I got there was The Body in the oh, Library. Oh, another Agatha Christie, Christie book. Okay. So that's another one that I read during that same Booktubeathon that year. Um, it is one of the Miss Marple mysteries. I was kind of underwhelmed. I was excited because it was like the body in the library. There's a dead body in the library, but it was all right. It was it was not one of her better mysteries. I think I just honestly prefer Poirot to Miss Marple. And then I also picked up the Iron Trial. Oh, Black the Sandra Iron Bell. Trial. Um, I have read that. I think I also read it during that same book tubeathon, and then I think I unhauled it like a year ago. I think it I think it died in the um, unhaul apocalypse of 2017, um, almost a full year ago. Uh, I got rid of a ton of books and that I believe was one of them, but I've read it so at least I did that before getting rid of it. The concept sounded really cool because it was very like Harry Potter-esque, but like I think I just expected too much out of it. It was it was fine. Like it was a it was a high three out of five for me. It was it was fine. And finally, the last book in this haul. Last book in this haul. Oh my goodness. There are only four books sitting down there, and only three of them are ones that I actually have for this. One of them is the Sword Art Online light novel. So let's see what the last book is. Is The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. This is great. This is wonderful. The Sweet Far Thing by Libba Bray. Okay, so here's the deal though. I have not read book two in the series. This is book three in the series. So, what if I just add both of them to my TBR? This is the last thing. 
let me grab them. Okay, so here they are. Um, this is massive, by the way. <laughs> um, but I read the first book in this trilogy last summer. I really liked it. I read it during the Booktubeathon, and I've been meaning to continue the series ever since. And these fit into my idea for the theme for this summer's reading. This is great. Okay, awesome. So like technically I have to read this because like even though this is the one that I hauled, this is book two. This is the first one in the series that I haven't read yet. So I can keep these as long as I read this. But this is great. I'm just, I'm just really excited. These fit into the theme that I wanted to do this summer. These are ones that I've genuinely been meaning to pick up for months at this point. I keep telling myself, ooh, when I don't have to do the TBR shelf unhaul, I should pick up the rest of the series. And now it's in here. I didn't even realize I had these for that long. I don't even know when I got this. I thought I got this before getting this. I don't know. But that concludes this video for the books that I have to read. So let me run through this TBR really quickly. So I'm just gonna run through the ones that are required for me to read. So like I added a couple books, but these are the ones that I have to read or unhaul. So we've got the first 15 lives of Harry August, and then we've got the first volume of Sword Art Online, and then we've got the first bind up of the first three volumes of Full Metal Alchemist, and then Rebel Angels by Libba Bray. So like technically I could use my saves for all four of these if I wanted to because I have four saves because it's over four months but like I honestly think that I'm going to read all of these. I am most skeptical about this one because like I said these three all fit into the theme for what I want to read over the summer and this one doesn't so like while I'm still excited about this I might not get to it just because of that but like if I get to all the other ones and the other two that I added that's a success for me. And a quick reminder, the two that I added were the light novel version of Sword Art Online, which I want to read before I read the manga, and then book three of the series, which technically is the one that I hauled, but we, we understand the series rules at this point. So yeah, all in all, that was a pretty successful set of watching and reading books that I have to do. That that's a pretty decent TBR. I mean, like, I wish, I kind of wish there were more books that had, like, surprised me or that I was like, oh no, I have to read that. But, like, I'm actually really excited about how well these books fit into my TBR that I already had and how well, like, how few there are of them. Like, this is great. I love this. This is fantastic. Let me know down in the comments what you think about the books that I talked about in this video. Also, let me know how you think that I will do on this. Honestly, I think we're gonna be fine. I could just save all of them if I wanted to. Honestly, what if I take away my saves? No, we'll see. I have the saves for now, but like, if I don't wanna use them, I don't wanna use them. As always, I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.